Supply and demand can also be imbalanced as a result of a government policy. When the government creates policies that interrupt the natural forces of supply and demand, we end up with disequilibrium. One such imbalance is what's known as a price ceiling. A price ceiling is when the government keeps prices artificially low on a product. So, with a price ceiling, the price can go no higher than the said price ceiling. Therefore, you will have an imbalance in that the price will be artificially too low. We can see in this example that the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied. Anytime QD is greater than QS, you will end up with a shortage. There are several examples of price ceilings that we can point to. Price gouging laws would be one such example prior to a natural disaster. Another example might be rent ceilings in certain part of the country where they keep prices on rent artificially low. Another example of an imbalance is a price floor. A price floor, if it is binding, is found above equilibrium. At the price floor, we have an imbalance as the quantity supplied is now greater than the quantity demanded as a result of an increase in prices artificially by government policy. One of the best examples of a price floor is the minimum wage. If the minimum wage is above equilibrium, this will lead to a surplus of workers as there will be more workers relative to the demand for workers in the labor market.